The Legion Go is a device that keeps getting better, and if you've previously read or watched reviews earlier than December 2023, I think they're already outdated. I've been using the Legion Go for about two months now. This is my follow-up long-term review. If you haven't seen my initial review yet, I'll include a link in the video description. In summary, I think it's a fun gaming device for people who don't mind diving into settings and checking in with other users online for tips and tricks. It's not for someone expecting a console experience, which you turn on and maybe has automatic updates and then play. Let's quickly go over the hardware. It has an 8.8 inch QHD 2560x1600 display with 144Hz refresh rate and a touchscreen. Color and contrast are bright, just be aware that the display is glossy, so stay away from large windows or bright lights behind you. The top has volume controls, micro SD card reader, thermal fins, the speakers, headphone mic combo, power button, and a USB-C 4.0 port. There's another USB-C 4.0 port at the bottom. I'm not a fan of these two placements for the USB-C ports since the cables pop out and get distracting, but you can get right angle cables online to fix that. This also has a kickstand, which is great if you need to prop it up on a table. There are detachable controllers on the sides. The joysticks are lit with three lighting effects. Uh, another trick is being able to use the right controller as a vertical mouse and FPS mode. It's certainly unique and you can even use this mode if you just need a wireless mouse to do non-gaming things on the Legion Go, but personally haven't used this mode that much. So two months later, the Legion Go has gone through updates that have made the user experience better since it first came out, but the update released here in the US in late December is a game changer. You can check for the latest drivers on Lenovo's product support page. From there, you can check for updates on BIOS, graphics, Bluetooth, and more. Also, when you open the Lenovo Legion Space app, it'll automatically update itself if there's an update available. All right, so the game-changing update is the ability to adjust the dead zones and response curves for the joysticks. I mentioned in my first review that I preferred to use my Xbox controller connected to the Legion Go when playing Call of Duty. That's because I felt the built-in joysticks weren't as accurate in first-person shooters, but now with the dead zones setting, I now have a better experience playing Call of Duty with the built-in controller. This would also apply to other first-person shooter games. So what is dead zone in the controller? Dead zone is the distance you have to move your stick before the game recognizes you're moving it. A super low dead zone will make any slight movement of your thumbstick move your player or aim. High dead zone means you can slightly move your stick with no in-game movement. After the update, I immediately changed this to the lowest setting. This has improved my aiming and movement when I'm playing Call of Duty. Uh, that would also improve on other first-person shooter games that you play. The graphics driver was also updated officially in December, but if you've been on Reddit or following the community, a beta version of this was available earlier, which you had to download from Lenovo's forums, but now it's officially available on their official drivers page. This update includes fixes like actually making EAFC24 playable, which was broken on the previous version of this graphics driver. I've also embraced the fact that the Legion Go is actually a Windows device. I've connected my wireless mouse to the Legion Go, propped it up on the table for some light browsing or watching YouTube videos. If you have a portable wireless keyboard, you can connect that too and potentially be able to do some light office work as well. Personally, haven't done that since I already have a laptop, but it's good to know that you have that option. All right, so to wrap up this long-term follow-up review for the Legion Go, I expect the Legion Go to get even better. If you were on the fence about getting this device two months ago, I think it's a much better purchase now after Lenovo released these updates. I recommend following along with the Legion Go community on Reddit for the latest tips and tricks. It has been such a great resource for finding the right settings or even troubleshooting some games. It's also great at getting the latest news directly from Lenovo themselves. For example, they've shared that they're currently working on key mapping, integrated driver and BIOS updates within the Legion Space app, DPI settings for FPS mode, and more. The community, including myself, have been very happy with Lenovo's transparency there. If you're interested in getting a Legion Go, check the link in the description for the latest pricing. Let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next video.